Hi Pisces, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. I'm here to give you a general energy reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of the information will be in our description box below. Thank you guys so much for your continuous love and support. I love you guys. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, most high. Please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel messages for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 20 million fold. And anyone out there showing me love, much love and light to you. Wow. So you got the temple path. So for me, I feel like you are really, um, you're protecting yourself. You know, um, you're honoring yourself. A lot of self-care, self-love. Self Some of you guys may even be traveling or just doing nice things for yourself. Uh, being very selective as to who you allow in your energy. Wow. So, um, someone's trying to block your blessings and abundance. Uh, they don't have the power to, but they're trying. This could be somebody that you're, you're not affiliating yourself with. They may, they may be speaking evil energy on your name or I don't know, um, gossiping if this is a, is a work situation there could be someone that you work with maybe trying to put you in a tough position all right what else we got for pisces spirit yeah somebody wants to knock your crown off uh they feel like you're very happy and you're empowered and you're strong and it's like your energy, your presence is is very powerful. Somebody wants to knock your crown off, whatever that means for you, take you off your throne. They can see that you're very selective of your energy. They can see that you love yourself, right? And they can also see that you're unbothered, unfazed. You're able to pull through any challenge. Somebody's jealous of that. Somebody's jealous of those characteristics that you have, Pisces. Yeah. Um, and it could be an ex for some of you guys. Somebody that you're not loving anymore. You could still kind of have love for them. Yeah, you could have this person's name tatted for some of you guys. But it's like you don't feel the same way about them. So they feel like you shouldn't be abundant because they're not able to be abundant with you. This is crazy. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I feel like you're about to meet somebody that's very wealthy, um, very strong, very courageous. Could be a Leo or a Leo, Virgo, Cusp. And I feel like this person is going to want to invest in you. This may have already happened. And this could be the reason why that person's holding a grudge against you. Yeah. Because <clears throat> they don't want you to walk away. And you're not showing them love anymore. But they must have done something. Yeah, you got a storm warning here. And you got door to romance. So they, yeah, all tied up. So they could have put you in some type of situation where they thought you were going to compete for their love or their intention. And instead, you just left and manifested what it, what it was that you truly desire. Yeah, somebody feels a type of way about that. Okay. Well, you're manifesting somebody that appreciates you. 
So it really doesn't matter how the other person feels about it. But they're definitely in their feelings. Alright. So what is it that um, Pisces needs to know about the person on their mind? Whether this is your past person or a new person. Tell me what Pisces needs to know about the person on their mind spirit. Well, um, it could be a new person for some of you guys. Because the person on your mind is not confused about you. <laughs> the person on your mind is not confused about you. Um, you may have just started seeing this person, though. Or just recently, maybe uh, met this person. Maybe when you were doing self-care at the spa. I don't know. Are on your way. Yeah, this person's um some of you guys are thinking about your past person because it, spirit is telling me that the person in your mind, uh either you or this person, you guys want to try to talk things out or compromise. I feel like this is them wanting to compromise though, because I feel like you're manifesting a new connection. Ooh. Hold on. If you're thinking about your past person right now, um, they went to talk some things out with a side piece, so you can just forget about that. But if you're thinking about a new person... It may have started out as a sexual-based connection, but they want to compromise. They want to try to invest in you or see if you guys can take things to the next level. Okay. Yeah, see? Because they feel a soulmate connection with you. It's a big choice. I mean, some of you guys may be fresh out of a relationship. They could be, whatever the case may be. And also, I think just giving somebody your heart, right? But I feel like you guys feel, you, you both feel the same about each other. So, yeah, you got exciting times here. You both feel happy with one another. So, I feel like... Yeah, look at this. Obsessed. So I feel like you want to make it official. Y'all want to make it official. But you got somebody here who mad about it. Somebody from your past. Because whoever this person is that you committing with is way more of a boss and way more polished than your last person. <laughs> way more polished. You know, way more polish. This is like going from like a six to a 10. Yeah, it's serious. <laughs> That's why this person mad. It's, it's serious. Yep. And they ain't catfish. And this new person is solid. They're not catfish. So it's like y'all about to go from, yeah, look, you got the, yeah. Y'all about to take a leap of faith. And somebody is mad about it because they didn't appreciate you. Like, they didn't appreciate you. And now you're meeting somebody that is appreciating you, taking care of you. And if you're a masculine, I mean, this ain't taking care of you, like, you know. But this is, like, your person. Like, so you got to ask this mad. Real mad. Yep, six of cups reverse. It feels so out of place. Maybe you and this ex been together for a long time or something. But they feel so out of place with this situation, with you dating somebody new, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yeah. It's 
It's causing a lot of anxiety for this person. Because they know they sabotage the situation. Yeah, and it's like now they have resentment towards you. But they were the ones that was playing games. You just, yeah, you got the time. And you, you ready for a change. It was just over. That was the last straw. And your new person is like about their business. You ain't got to worry about no third party situation with this person. They avoid conflict. They're about their business. Yeah. See, so you got somebody depressed. They can't sleep because you got... They can't sleep because this person so much of a level up. And they gonna see this. If you guys got kids together, they may hear from the kids. Or they could come and pick the kids up and the person there. Right? Or it's a situation where you guys are posting stuff on social media, whatever the case may be. But it's like they see the new person being more of a level up than them. And this is really what bothers them the most. Yeah. See? You got the nine of cups in reverse. They feel like they made a poor choice dealing with you. And they not satisfied. Like they feel embarrassed. Like this, you got, like this new per, like they really do feel embarrassed, cause it's literally no competition between. If you compare a six to a ten, you compare a one sided individual to somebody who's taking care of you. They feel embarrassed. This person feel embarrassed. But hey, congratulations to you, <laughs> and you and your on your new journey. Because you deserve it. That person should have appreciated you. And there's no reason that you should feel bad about moving on. If they feel a type of way about it, they should have did something different. You know, people always trying to blame somebody for wanting to be happy. And that's the situation with you, Pisces. But no pressure. Do you. Okay? I love you guys. I hope you enjoy your reading. If you like the reading, make sure you guys show me some love and thumbs up the video. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already a part of the family. But I'll talk to you soon. Much love and light. Peace.